Derek Ray and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson I'm very excited to be able to bring you live action from League Two coming up it's Swindon Town taking on Colchester United Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. The initial 11 today for the hosts. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations, and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. And now they get the ball rolling. And no way through. And dispossessed. He must finish! Well, that's how to hit them. Not quite accurate enough, though. Well, as you can see, when it comes to the hosts, they certainly know a thing or two about scoring goals. In fact, Stuart, they have the most potent attack in the league. Well, their attacking play has been brilliant. They're always looking to pass it forward. The wide players get good crosses into the box and the forwards have taken their chances. These fans will be hoping for more of the same today. And attempting the through ball. And the attack carried an initial threat but fizzled out. And strongly to win the ball. Moving forward effectively. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. And how about that for a save? Three. can sense the threat is there timely intervention could be dangerous very quick thinking there and they could face difficulties here and a goal to give them the lead they have their reward Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see. But you'd expect him to score from that range. But they all count. One nil then. Oh, great play. That's not a bad ball. Defended well. Could be threatening. And players waiting at the far post. No nonsense clearance. Can he make it count? He knew he had to make the tackle and did. Really good high press. It's with Edwards. Sears.
options in the center. Can he take the chance? And read the danger magnificently. Well, if he gets this wrong, a penalty and a sending off. But he was spot on with his challenge. Oh, what a perfect ball now. How about this? Well, the decision is offside, and he's bound to be a bit disappointed. Well, he's actually made his run before his teammate had control of the ball, and that's why it's offside. Not showing good defensive judgment. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. A goal! Real excitement! A back-and-forth type of game. Now they're level. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance, and once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. So, a level contest. 1-1. Foul there. Free kick awarded. Well, it's always at the discretion of the referee, in this case, opting not to book him. Decent position. Well, as you can see, what an excellent back heel this is to set up the goal. But I think the keeper has made a mistake here. While it's a decent finish, it shouldn't go in at that near post. And the ball is moving again. Anyone's guess how this is going to finish? 2-1 currently. chance to do damage but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending and Barry and that pass could be troublesome I thought I get wide from there disappointing Well, we have a goal to tell you about in one of the other matches. Alex has the news. It's a goal for Oldham Athletic. It was an early cross which found him in acres of space, and it was a beautiful headed finish. They've scored the opener here with five minutes. And it might be. And a goal! Cause for celebrations again. Two in front. Well, the action continues, and no shortage of goals. 3 1 as things stand. Our sincere apologies to Alex, I must say, because we had to cut her off just when she was in full flow. To confirm for you, the visitors did score in that match, and their lead stands at 1-0 presently. Oh, this is looking promising. And possibilities here. Brilliantly blocked. Can they hit on the break? Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. So two minutes to be added on at the end. A very effective challenge put in. They got the touch on the ball. A throw in now. Options in the middle. Reed now. Will he find the net? What an important piece of defending. So the half-time whistle is sounded. And it's so far so good for the hosts. Well, we said before the game, what a brilliant side they are. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Barry Tomlinson and he read it well defensively it's a weighted pass 
Now they've lost it. Well, many have wondered if they would get it over the line in terms of the deal. They've succeeded, Stuart. Well, he'll certainly bring much needed experience to them. Let's just hope he's still got the legs to have a real impact. I think he'd do well. And it's gone out of play. Goal kick coming up. And we're focusing on him for a reason, Stuart. He's asking plenty of questions of the defenders. Well, he's been at his best today. He just seems to get his shots away so easily. And he's taken his goals really well. Brilliant stuff from him. Read now. Tomlinson. Hanging on to the ball in this fashion suits them. Well, can they prize them open now? Well, it was a good-looking sequence, but it comes to an end. Well, I'm hearing the referee has pointed to the penalty spot in one of the other games. Let's hear more about it from Alex. Well, Bristol Rovers were awarded the penalty. The power on the strike, it flew in the top corner. It's now 1-0 with 57 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. Well, there you have it. The hosts have had so much of the possession and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch and I don't think anything's going to change that. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. He's got the right idea with that pass. That is really alert defending just when the situation looked dangerous. And a good-looking ball. And there it is! Another goal! And surely there's no way back from this now. Well, here it is again. And what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. Too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. Oh, nice ball. A bit of running room now on the wing. Will he play it in? Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves. because that was a wasted opportunity now we have a goal to tell you about in one of the other games here's Alex Scott it's another goal for Bristol Rovers but it was a poor poor clearance which led to an easy close range finish it's now 2-1 with 68 minutes played. Surely high echelon goalkeeping there. Played over. And a struggle to get it away properly. Well, nothing untoward happened. And a throw in forthcoming. Well, we're sorry for interrupting you just then, Alex. Just of note, the away side have scored, and they're in front at the moment by two goals to one. Reed. Oh, that pass easy on the eye. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. So almost at full time and the home side very much in command. Stuart, what have you made of their overall performance? Well, the result has never really been in doubt, has it? They've created so many chances with some brilliant attacking play. I think they've looked an outstanding team today. 
Can he play it in? Tomlinson. That was showing excellent vision. And still danger here. Well, they can bring it out now. Just ten minutes to go. Tomlinson. And he's made headway. Oh, masterful defending to prevent what looked like a certain goal. Edwards. Crossing opportunity. Can he finish? And that is defending of the highest order. We're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. A glorious chance. Really well hit, but just too much height on. Substitution time it is here. Now, goal news to bring you from one of the other games. Here's Alex Scott with the details. It's a goal for Rochdale. It was an early cross which found him in acres of space, and it was a beautiful headed finish. They're back level. It's one all with 88 minutes on the clock. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Oh, the penalty's been given. And it's not what they had in mind. It's falling apart for them. Well, some might say he's been fortunate to avoid being shown the card. Well, I like that from the referee. Just because it's a penalty doesn't mean it's a yellow card. I think he's got it right. And a chance maybe to settle this. Oh, he's guessed correctly and saved it. And there's the delivery. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. And there goes the final whistle. And the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, we talked about their ability to score goals at the top of the game. And once again, they delivered. For me, they're always looking for the most dangerous pass, which is a great example to teams that keep possession for the sake of it. I think they're a joy to watch at the moment.